Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 105. That is, what is burn down chart? Let me answer. Burn down chart is used by the projects which follow agile scrum methodology. And the purpose of using this burn down chart in such kind of projects is to track the progress of work being done in the sprints. Okay, so if you know any agile scrum methodology projects, the work will be done in the form of sprints. Sprint one work, then sprint two work, then sprint three work, then sprint four work, and so on. Okay, the work will happen in the form of sprints. Here we have multiple sprints. Sprint one, after sprint one is completed, after the work assigned to the sprint one is completed, then sprint two will start. Sprint two will start. After sprint two, work is also completed, then the work will be assigned to sprint three, and sprint three will start. Once the work assigned to sprint three is completed, then sprint four will start, and the process will continue. Okay. The process will continue for each and every sprint. Some user stories will be assigned. Okay, so work will be assigned in the form of user stories to each and every sprint. And the agile team, the sprint team, that is developers and testers, have to complete this assigned requirements or stories by the end of the sprint. This is what happens. But during the sprint, to track the progress, okay, to track the progress of work being done in the sprint by the Scrum team, we have to use burn down chart okay so how does a burn down chart look like it looks like this guys okay burn down chart will look something like this so on the you see on the vertical line vertical axis you can say we mentioned the story points okay these are the story points of the total number of story points of the user stories that got assigned to a particular sprint if you talk about one sprint okay in this sprint these are the user stories let's say for each and every user story there will be some Story points, estimated story points will be there. If you calculate all the story points of this user stories that got assigned to the sprint, okay. For example, if you got 30 story points, okay, for this particular uh, user stories that got assigned to the sprint, if you total all the estimated story points for this user stories, let's assume that you got 30 points. So in that case, in the this vertical axis of this diagram, okay, the but this bot is a burn down chart case, okay. In the vertical axis of this burn down chart, you will mention the total number of story points that is a uh, five. 10, 15, 20, 25, total 30 points are there. On and on the horizontal axis, okay? On the vertical axis, you are mentioning the story points, that is total 30 story points got assigned to the sprint. On the horizontal axis, okay? On the horizontal axis, you will mention the number of days that the Agile team or Scrum team has have to complete this uh, user stories that got assigned. To complete this 30, 30 user story points, how many days are there, okay? How many days? the agile team has in the sprint okay for example the duration of the sprint is the duration of the sprint generally is one to four weeks guys but assume that yeah, for a particular project the duration of the sprint is two weeks okay for a particular project is following the sprint duration that is sprint iteration duration as two weeks that is nothing but 10 working days okay 10 working days as an example we can take the two weeks as the duration of the sprint and it's 10 working days that 10 working days we will write down here you see on the horizontal axis we will mention the 10 working days first day second day third day fourth day fifth day and so on till 10 days like this we'll create this burn down chart and as you can see guys there is a green color line here in this burn down chart there is a green color line which is ideal line okay if the team completes the user story points according to the number of days ideally it has to complete as as per this green line okay you see uh, by the time it reaches uh, which day, let's say this day, third day, the team has to complete around uh, uh, how many points, guys? Uh, 28 points need to be completed by this time, okay? Eight points need to be completed. Starting from 30 to 22 means, uh, 30 to 22 means eight points, okay? By this time, by three days, it has to complete eight points, ideally, like so on, okay? By 10 days, all the points has to be completed. You see, by the 10 days, what happened? This green line is coming like this. You see, number of story points are reducing and number of days are increasing. By the time it reaches the 10 working days, that is the end of the sprint, all the story points have to be completed, ideally. This is how the, as per the green line, the story points has to be completed over a period of time, okay? Over a period of 10 days in this example, okay? These 30 user story points need to be completed, that is developed and tested by the Agile team by, by the end of this 10 days, according to the green line. But does the work happen ideally? As shown in the green line, the, does the work happen ideally? No, guys, it will not happen in real time, okay? So the team will be behind sometimes, the team will be ahead sometimes, okay? You see this color, this red color thing is the actual work being done, okay? 
how the story points are completed by the end of this uh, sprint that is 10 working days how actually okay how the actual work has been done this ideal work is green color red color is the actual work done by the team okay some you see by the end of the three days uh, let's say for three days guys okay the team has to complete ideally how many points eight points but here how many points the team has completed only uh there's around like uh, 26 or something so 24 only four points it has completed okay even though ideally the team has to complete eight points here the team by the end of the three days has completed only four points okay it's lagging behind four three four points okay eight is a expectation but four is actually completed like that and if you take another day you see after uh, immediately in after three days okay 3.5 days or something you see the team has to complete it around complete around uh here 22 30 means almost uh it's nine points it has to complete but here but here the team has completed at 3.5 days the team has completed around uh, more than 10 points okay even though nine points are there here 11 points are completed by the team sometimes the team will be head in the work so time sometimes uh, the team will be uh, in in match with the ideal case okay here you see as a fifth day or something both are on the same direction ideal points and uh, completed points are same okay sometimes lagging sometimes uh, ahead okay but by the end of the sprint that is in 10 working days all these 30 user store story points have to be completed so this this is green color thing is ideal one and the red color thing is the actual work that is being done how the actual story points are being completed over the number of days okay so with this kind of burn down chart okay scrum master will use this kind of burn down chart okay in the agile team who will generally is uh, will generally use the burn down chart who is the main person who will mostly use the burn down chart is none other than the scrum master okay the scrum, scrum master is generally the one who will take care of the burn down chart okay he or she who is a scrum master will be taking care of the burn down chart so what for what purpose scrum master will be using this uh, burn down chart to track the progress of the work on a particular day what is the status of the work how much work is being completed and how much work is expected to be completed to track that progress scrum master will use that burn down chart not only the scrum master will use a burn down chart guys he will bring this scrum burn down chart the scrum master will bring this a uh, burn down chart to the daily stand up meeting okay so in daily stand up meeting the complete agile team scrum master will go through the meeting just uh, in 15 minutes they will wrap up the meeting in that 15 minutes uh, the scrum master along with the agile team members that is developers and testers will discuss uh, what is the current work going on how much work is completed how much work is pending are we on track can we complete the things on time all these kind of things will be discussed by scrum master with the agile team in the scrum daily stand up meeting that is daily scrum meetings or daily stand up meetings so as part of that meeting the scrum master will also use this kind of burn down chart okay to show everyone like what is the current status of the project what is the current status of the work being done in the particular sprint okay how how much work they have to complete to complete the uh, com this complete story points by the end of the sprint okay so all these things will be discussed by scrum master with the help of the burn down chart to track the progress of work being done in the sprint so hope guys you got the answer for what is burn down chart in this session so that's all for this session in the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.